I've been modeling this cassette tape here for my cassette player, which is part of Blender Challenge 3, which is to create a communication device. And I'm just making a, uh, like I say, a, a cassette player. So here's the tape uh, where we left off uh, last time. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just come in and make a few changes. I'm going to put an edge loop here and an edge loop here. I'm going to select both of these and I'm going to bevel these to create a space. And go into individual origins and I'm going to scale shift Z pull them out like that so we get that sort of angled look and um, I'm going to put on shade smooth and I'm going to try just uh, weighted normal and auto smooth is there um, what I might do is come back over here and do bevel and put it above and then go back to a few things like that what I'm now going to do is come in here and I'm going to select this area, Shift S, cursor selected. So with my 3D cursor there, I'm going to go Shift A, Mesh, Circle, and I'm going to add a circle. And, uh, you know, you could choose however many vertices you want. I'll probably put a subdivision surface. I probably don't need that many. Uh, but I'll come in, E and S, and I'll come in and give it some, some height, thickness, whatever you want to call that. That would come down in here. I'm just going to scale it. And look at this piece. So make sure we can see a bit of it. All right. So there it is. That's not where I want it, though. I want it up here. Around that spot. And then what to do? I'll go Control 1 and Shade Smooth. And I'll put some edge to it. Actually, I think I'll put, I think I'll bevel it. So let's uh, grab this edge and, and this edge and we'll control B. I'll put one and maybe I'll bring an edge loop out. I might not need the bottom faces so we can think about that later. Okay, now I'm going to select that piece and bring the 3D cursor. I guess I got to set the origin to geometry first and then bring the 3D cursor there. And now I'm going to bring in a cube and scale it way down so that it fits inside this ring here. Let's press the period key to zoom in. I'm going to scale down so that it, like I say, so that it fits. All right, let's take it out and let's get rid of that back face. And put it back in and then take this face, look from the top and bring it out a little ways towards the center. I might want them a bit thicker, actually. So I'm gonna scale that in the X, and that's gonna form the little teeth that hold the tape. All right, I'll go, I'll go with that much there. All right, so with that piece there and my 3D cursor right in the middle, I'm gonna go Shift D, Rotate, Z, 60. Shift D, Rotate, Z, 60, and just keep doing that. Shift D, Rotate, Z, 60. Shift D, rotate Z, 60, and one more. And they get these little teeth sort of sticking out. I'm then going to take uh, all of these, and I think I can join those all together. And if I do that, I'll get the same color, so that's all cool. Uh, I'm going to take this piece here, and I'm going to Shift D, and I'm going to pull it over to the other side. And just, just basically center it. All right, that's fine. So I get that, and I may even take these teeth and I'll rotate these in the Z a little bit just to make it a little bit different. Okay, so I've got that. Now I want to make sure that all these pieces are in my cassette um, collection. All right, now let's go back in here and let's hide that empty. Um, one more thing I think I would do on this is I would come in here and I would select this and this face and bring my 3D cursor right to there. And then I'm gonna bring in another circle. I'm gonna leave it at, uh, let's go for, let's go for 18, let's put a subdivision surface on this. I may have said at the very outset that I'm not gonna use too many subdivision surfaces. And in the end, I, I use quite a few. All right, anyways, uh, where's my circle? There it is. Okay. 
let's grab uh, just this circle and um, I am going to I think I'll grid well I grid fill I'm gonna come in and then I think I'll grid fill it and then I'll give it some thickness and I'm gonna sort of simulate tape just a very kind of cartoony way of doing it but I don't know if I'll keep that or not and I'll shade smooth and I'll put on one subdivision so I'll have that I'm gonna bring that in till it's pretty much in the middle if I can which is not in the middle not, well it's got to be in the middle of, of, of this piece the indent there so um, yeah so we'll just we'll just see what the deal is here okay well I can mess with that in a bit anyhow um, yeah I don't want it there want it down like that okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull it over to the side so it sort of looks like I got tape there and I'm going to go into uh, edit mode and wireframe and with it selected I'm going to choose mesh bisect and I'm just going to cut right down the, down here it's not part parts not going to be seen and I'm going to choose fill and clear outer deselect and I'll come back and I'll have that piece now. I can cut more off, and I think I'm gonna to have to do that, so let's do that. And I don't even need to see through, let's just bisect, and let's just cut right up the middle here. Okay, it's not overly clean, but it'll do the, do the trick. And no one will be any of the, any of the wiser, so. All right. And with that done, um, I would, I'm going to uh, bring back my player and I'm going to select my cassette. So I had built the, the player obviously in, in another uh, video or in other videos. And I'm just going to position this roughly. And uh, let's see, we seem to have lost my tape. Yeah, that's what I got so far. Um, there may be a few other little pieces to put on uh, the cassette uh, player itself. Maybe I'll do those uh, circles there. We could uh, maybe put um, a roller or some kind of whatever that thing is there. We could put a little piece of tape. I'm not certain it's really all that necessary to do that stuff. But, uh, you know, this is... This is what we have. I believe there'd probably be a cover and some other bolts and screws and uh, text and, and of course the texturing aspect of it as well. But uh, that pretty much concludes the um, the cassette part of this. Um, and I'll do a little bit more work on the uh, cassette player and then I'll I'll do some texturing.